Hi, this is Adele and today we are going to explore twists. So the benefits we are hoping for by practicing twists is more flexibility in the spine, more chest opening, better breathing after we rotate, as well as a form of abdominal massage. So the key for you to remember is during twists, the breathing will be a little bit more challenged but nonetheless, breathing should still flow. You don't want to go to a place where you find that you can't breathe at all or when you're experiencing pain. So step back if you need to and enjoy the practice. Let's start on our hands and knees on our fours. Palms below shoulders, knees below the hips. We undulate the spine in cat cow. So stretch the belly, the chest and chin forward in cow pose. Tuck the tail, hunch the back, and push the arms in cat pose. Point tail, stretch belly and chest in cow. Tuck tail, hunch, and push the ground away in cat. Inhale, arching in cow pose. Exhale, hunch. Inhale, arch in cow pose. And exhale, hunch. Look slightly to the ground, point back the toes, sit your buttocks back in an extended child's pose. Press down thumb and index finger, both arms are straight. Relax the jaws and feel the side body get long. Both hands walk over to the right side. You're getting a longer stretch with the left side body. Try to keep the buttocks heavy. Relax the jaws and stay here for a little while. Walk back to center, then walk towards the left side with the right arm stretching out long in tension to get the right side body a little bit more stretch. Just freeing out the spaces. Come back to center, the buttocks still heavy, the arms forward. Press the ground with straight arms, forehead can rest down or close to ground. Getting a nice good back stretch. Relax the jaws. Then find that you can inhale into your side and back ribs. And exhale. One more time. Inhale into your side and back ribs. And exhale. Come onto hands and knees on all fours. Bring the knees closer together and press the right leg straight as your back heel drives down. Shoulders just lightly on top or behind the wrist. You're looking forward, getting the chest to go front, the heels to stretch back, getting a little bit of hamstring stretching. Lean the shoulders on top of the wrist. Then from there, point back the right toes and firm the right thigh off the ground. Coming into a little bit of extended cat pose. Breathe. Hold it here for three for two and one. Drop the right knee down, left toes tuck back, drive the heels downwards, but keep the arms pressing. The key is just to allow the breath to flow as you stretch out the left hip. Stable in the body, breathe. Shoulders on top of the wrist, left thigh lift up, extended cat. Find that firmness of the left thigh lifting in the air for another three two one drop the knee down point back the toes sit the buttocks towards the heels in a hero pose take your arms outstretched overhead palms face forward cactus arms elbows pull down reach up to the sky fingers can tap exhale draw down shoulders away from ears inhale reach to the sky Exhale, pull down the shoulder blades. One more round, reach up. And exhale to shoulder height. Bring your forearms together, hunch your back. Open the chest, let the chest chin rise. Exhale, you round your back towards the end of the room. Inhale, spreading across the chest. One more time, hunch as you bring your forearms, elbows to touch. And inhale, open. 
Look forward, arms go back, interlace. Squeeze your feet together, hug your elbows in and allow a shoulder roll back. Squeeze the forearms, neck jaws is soft. Pull the feet back if you can, straighten the arms. Feel a light lift of the chest to broaden across the heart as you breathe. Feel free to add a forward fold as you lift the fist. Some of you can roll the shoulders and gently from there sway the fist from side to side. Relax the jaws, feel the shoulders lift away from the ears. Just prepping the hips and the shoulder. Drop the fists onto the back, slowly raise yourself back to hero. Release the hands in front. Tuck your toes under, come into a squat position with your hands supporting option one or take your hands on knees or thighs, getting tall and finding balance. Squeeze your thighs, drop your shoulders. Take two more breaths here, just finding that sense of balance, practicing breathing well. Take your hands to the ground in front of you then from there, as you slightly separate your feet, go into a forward fold with knees bent and walk your hands towards the legs more. Drape your body, find the length of the body as you keep your knees bent. It's like a drape of a body over your legs. Slide your hands to your ankles, squeeze one leg straight as your chest stretch forward. Bend that knee, squeeze the other leg straight. Keep the chest stretching forward. You may come up higher as you squeeze both legs straight. Then once again, we bend our knees and let the body fold towards the legs in a forward fold. Hands on hips, stand strong, inhale all the way up to standing and release the arms down beside the body. Take your feet about shoulder width apart then draw the right arm a few circles back, just allowing the chest to stretch as your wrists, elbows relax. Pull it forward a few rounds, feeling the movement coming from the shoulder blades. Release the arm down, left arm, same thing, circle backwards. Breathe. Good. And circle forward. Like to find that nice mobility as you stretch out the back. Release both arms, reach your arms up to the sky. Bend your knees, throw the arms down in chopping wood, reach up, exhale, throw. Two more sets, reach up, exhale, throw. Last one, reach up, and exhale, throw. Keep the knees bent, forearms on ties. Sit into a chair pose shape. Shoulders relax, chest is free, breathe. Feel free to sit deeper, just warming up the leg muscles for a little bit. Then hands on thighs, push up all the way to stand. And take your hands on your hips as you open your feet to mat width and wider into a wide stance. One to 1.5 meter apart. So something that you feel stable and you push out against the edge of your feet. Take your hands to your hips. And then slight bend your knees, press your buttocks back into a halfway forward fold. Feel that legs are grabbing straight, relax the jaws. Then from there, slide your hands towards any part of the legs, then you can fold quite comfortable down. You can always place your hands on blocks as you need it. Turn your face to look down to the ground. Take a few moments. Then hands to hips, come up strong. Standing tall. Add on the arms up in line like airplane wings. Then from there, take the left hand. Find the right ankle, right arm to the sky. Come back to airplane wings. Right hand, left ankle. Open the left side chest. Back to center. Exhale, twist. Come back to airplane. Exhale, twist. Feel free to keep the knees back. Come back to center, exhale, twist. One more set, come back to center, exhale, twist. Come back to center like airplane, firm legs. Inhale, all the way, come up to standing. Release the hands on the hips and heels in, toes out. 
white goddess squat. Sit to a height that you can and support your hands on the knees. Let the left shoulder tip down towards the right inner knee. Chest turn towards the right side. Stabilize your knees with your hands. Come back pretty more upright. Then right shoulder tip towards the left knee. Come back to center. Squeeze the legs straight and turn the heels out again. Turn the left toes point forward. Right heel wedge back. If you feel unstable, you move simply move the left foot more to the left side. Getting ready for triangle pose. Cut in at the left hip. Right hip a little bit angled down. Imagine a third leg growing from your navel towards the earth. Firm the left thigh. Hand, hold on to the hip. Cut the left hip into the side waist. Then from there, you roll the right shoulder back. Let the chest open. Left hand down. Right arm open into a triangle pose over nine straight legs. Neck is long. Focus on the top arm reach to the sky. Stack in line with the bottom arm. Staying here for three more easy breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Let the chest revolve. Neck is long. Inhale. Exhale. One more set. Inhale. And exhale. Top palm face backwards. Press yourself up to stand. Then from there, hands back on hips, bend the front knee. Take both set of hands to the ground. Lift up the back heel and walk both hands to the right side as your left foot goes to the left side. Come to a lizard lunge. Left leg on the left side of the hands, right foot wedge back. Stretch your chest and lengthen out through the spine. Take a little bit of time here, just extending through the spine. Press down the fingers, keep the left foot stepping. Lean weight forward, right foot step outside the right hand. Half squat or go deeper into your squat. Hands push the ground, toes point forward. Hands onto your hips, onto your ankles. Getting flat back, long spine. So your feet is about mad width apart. Maybe that allows you to fold a little bit more into a forward fold. Over bare knees is fine. Try to get the belly between the spaces of the feet. Hands on hips. Firm the foot to the ground. Almost like the weight is mostly on the heels. Inhale all the way up to standing. Exhale, arms come down to the side. Step, step your feet firmly, pointing forward. Reach your arms to the sky. Find a nice good lift of the ribs. Remember... When you twist, the body has to be nicely lifted. Interlace your fingers, arms reach up to the sky, palms push over feet. Shift weight forward, raise your heels, tiptoe balance. Press down the big toe and find a few moments of balance. Then drop the heels down, release the arms to the side. Right toes continue to point front, left foot step back, both set of toes point towards the front so you can have your feet wide wedge against the feet once again hand cut the hip buttock push back and then fold forward to where you can maybe second round your hands can make it closer to ground or it may still be on blocks below the chest go for what works and shift the buttocks forward on top of the ankle so that's one play pardon the back view for a while Breathe. Then from there, take your hands forward, slightly bend your knees, turn the heels in. You come into a wide border squat again. This time, you focus stretching out the inner thigh. So keep the knee stable as per just now. You once again tip the left shoulder towards the right knee. Your hand can slide assist to stretch out the inner thigh, one away from the other. Come back to center, tip the right shoulder, the right arm can press straighter without force. Back to center, then from there squeeze the leg straight, drive the heel out into a wide stance, right toes point forward, then from there you can always move the right foot more to the right side. 
The back foot is angled in. I turn my front big toe, well, one more big toe width out, so I can point my knee towards the second third toe. Back leg squeeze straight, same thing. Cardin on the right hip, tripod leg going from the navel. Hand to hip, cardin at the right hip. Right hand slide down, lightly on the shin. Left arm stay to roll the shoulder or reach the left arm up into a triangle pose. Chest is open, neck is long, tilt the crown of the head up slightly. Breathe. Feel the shoulders drop away from the ears as you relax the jaws for another three. Two back leg firm and one. Top palm face back, press up into a tri uh, into two straight legs, bend the front knee, hand can support on thigh or both hands travel down to the left side. Lift the back heel, right foot is on the right side of the hand, left foot is more or less in line with the left hand into a lizard lunge. You can be on fingers, you can be on palms, you can likewise drop the back knee down as you ride the heel back as for just now and stretch out the chest. Take a few gentle breath, getting the body long. Drop the back knee, let's take an easy transit back. Right knee go back on all fours. First down dog, tuck the toes, lift the knees and press your thighs and buttocks back into a downward dog. Pedal up and down your heels, just easing out the cuffs, the ankles, the Achilles tendons. Feel free to walk a little slower. Okay. Let the hips sway as well, getting the sides of the body long, breathing. Open your feet to mat width apart. And that gives you that freedom to press the thighs back and getting a nice long spine as your belly might naturally cinch in and buttocks pulling back and thighs sitting on the back wall for another three, for another two, and one. Come on, tiptoes, knees to ground, toes more back. Sit back all the way to child's pose. Let the buttocks find the heels and arms by the side of your shins. Relax the wrists. Slowly roll up into a hero pose. Then take both arms up to the sky. Lengthen. And you're going to twist facing the right side. Right hand behind you. Left hand outer right knee. Turn the chest slightly to the right. Come back to center, inhale, exhale, change tips, rotate with your torso first, then left hand behind, right hand outer left knee. You want to grow the spine tall. One more set, inhale, reaching face front, exhale, twist first, right hand behind, left hand outer right knee. Grow the spine tall without easing, without tensing your breath. One last side. Inhale, exhale, twist left, left hand behind, right hand outer left knee, revolve the chest. Come back to center and exhale, take both arms down. Come back to hands and knees on all fours. Now from here, shoulders on top of the wrist, get the right leg straight, get the left leg straight into a plank pose. Shoulders below the on top of the wrist, your heels drive back, you want your thighs to be lifted. Staying here for a little while, feel free to drop onto your knees for three, two, one. Drop the knees down, point back the toes and lay all the way down onto your belly. Then from here, you want to roll shoulders, hug elbows in into a baby cobra. Stretch out the belly and the chest. As your chest lift off from the ground, breathe very comfortably as the shoulders roll back, collarbone shine forward. Exhale, lower down all the way, tuck toes under, press palms, press knees, downward facing dog. Adding on to the practice, raise heels, but this time, get the right leg up to the sky. As high as you can, you can turn the toes slightly out. Bend the right knee heel to butt and let the right thigh feel the hip open. Your face may be a little bit angled to the right side. 
that's normal. Right leg squeeze straight, extend leg. Feel the hip open with that lifted top thigh. Rebend the knee and then turn the knee pointing downwards. Slide the right foot between the hands. Back foot half a step left side. Angle 16 degrees front. Front knee bend. Warrior one. Chest face towards the right side. Widen your right foot. Go more forward as you press against the back thigh to lift the chest. Lift the ribs. Find a little bit of open heart in your warrior one. Arms go back. Interlace your fingers. Fist pull back. Let the chest open outwards. Humble warrior. Feel the right heel ground down. Lean your weight forward, humble warrior. Rest your belly on your thighs. That's fine. Stretch out through the chest as your back foot wedge against the big toe side and the pinky toe side. Feel free. Shoulder lift, but if it upsets your balance, i rather pull the fist backwards instead. Release the fists. Hands to the ground. Take care to raise the back heel. Step in half a step towards the front, maybe more to the right side so that you can squeeze both legs straight into a pyramid pose. Squeeze your legs straight, stretch your chest out forward, lengthen either into a full pyramid or a modified pyramid pose. The spine is long, it's almost like flat back, long spine against a two straight legs. Bend the front knee. So the weight is now on the right foot. You step the left foot forward. You can squeeze the thigh or imagine yourself squeeze a block between the thighs. Bend knees. You get comfortable in your chair with hands to the ground to start with. Both hands to the heart. Just a gentle tapping. You squeeze the thigh. Left thigh. Left elbow tap against the outer right knee. Squeeze the thigh to the center. So it's like one leg. Come back to center. Change tap, right elbow against the outer left knee. Come back to center, hands forward. You can walk your feet apart if it gives you more freedom in the pelvis. Go for a forward fold, spreading your body across the thighs as you stretch your chin downwards towards the ground in a full forward fold. Relax the jaws and keep pressing down the heels. Find length, breathe. So in chair pose, your feet can always be slight apart or together if you need more support, if you find that the knees are wobbly. Bend knees, we rise through chair. Exhale, squeeze the leg straight and slide your hands to your heart center. Feet can go together. If your knees are stable, you can keep them slightly apart so it's not too wobbly. Okay? Imagine you keep holding a block between the thighs. We pass through chair again. Reach your arms up to the sky, inhale, bend knees, stabilize your knees pointing forward, chair pose, inhale, bring your palms to heart, right elbow tap the left knee, if the right knee slide a little bit forward it's okay, press the palm to the center of your chest, come back to center, feel the twist and rotation as you turn your chest towards the right side, come back to center, Take your hands all the way down to the ground, forward fold. Bend knees, press hands, walk back, plank pose. Push the ground, on knees, on toes, chest forward, elbows bend back, slow, descend down. The legs are long, stretch out forward and upwards. Go for length forward, so the legs actively stretching back, belly stretch out from the waist area. Lean your weight down, tuck toes under, downward facing dog. Heels raise, easier for you to bring the left leg up. Turn the thigh, the knee, the ankle facing up. Bend the knee, heel to butt. And let the left hip open out to the left side. Three-legged dog, open hip. Relax the jaw. Some of us get the right heel down. Some of us is already very busy getting the left leg up to the sky. Raise a uh, turn the left knee pointing down. Feel the hip facing parallel, a uh, parallel to one another. Pull the left knee in and left foot step between the hands. 
right foot half a step right side, angle 60 degrees or so forward. The weight is on the front foot, raise your arms overhead and use the time, okay? Press the back leg firm, sit into your left leg up to a square and arms lift, feel a lift, body is long, chest is free. Arms go back, interlace the other thumb on top, pull down, broaden the chest. You add a little puff of the heart towards the sky. Fall forward, humble warrior. Sometimes I really keep my feet on the back so I don't upset my balance. But if you feel, okay, I'm really stable. I like to give myself a chance to open across the chest. I go ahead and lift my fist over my head. In yoga, there's no fixed rules. Go with what help allows you to still breathe well, feeling challenged yet able to breathe at the same time. Release the fist, hand to ground. Pick up the back heel, stepping one small step, maybe a little bit more to the left if your thumb is too wide. Drag your left butt towards the right heel and stretch out the chest, lengthening forward in a pyramid pose. So you want to hug an imaginary line between your thighs and then press both legs straight I know, getting the hands on the ground is a feat for some of us. Stay light on your fingers or use blocks below the hands. And you realize that blocks are a great investment. Cheap and helpful. Bend the front knee, shift weight forward so your right foot can just drag forward. Either squeeze your thighs together or just let the knees drag forward like a chair. Exhale, we just fold in. Standing forward, fold towards the legs. Press down firm, then knees, chair. Streamline the body all the way up and slide your hands to your heart center. Release your arms down beside the body directly. Your left toes, one big toe with out to the left side. Right foot step back. Okay, it's like your, it's like your pyramid pose. So if this feels too much of a tight rope for you, move the left foot more to the left side. And then the more you're able to anchor the back foot forward, the back toes forward, okay? It just means your ankle flexibility is good, but if you can, you're just angling it forward. Then from there, the hands is like finding the hip where the legs insert into the pelvis. And you just let yourself lift off for a moment. Okay, we're going to explore revolve triangle. So blocks will be very handy. Later I'll reach out for it as I go down. Okay, so you come in at the hips. You can also put a block right at your right side now. So okay, I just put it at the right side. Okay, I can use the medium or the tall height depending on the flexibility of the hamstrings. Hug an imaginary paper between your thighs. Stand tall. Let the belly stretch. Remember, better breathing, long spine, free shoulders. Cut in at the hip area and fold halfway. Use your strong legs to maintain this halfway mark as both legs squeeze straight, staying. Then slide your right hand onto the ground, onto the block. You can press down the palms if you are quite flexible, but you can use the blocks to create height to lift the ground to you. Getting the height allows you to Free up the spine going forward. Then from there, feel the right hip swivel down to the right side. You feel the left side of the leg, left outer hip stretch up and start to revolve the chest facing left side. Left arm out and next to your ears, open across the chest and then you're facing towards the left side or feel free to look down towards the right hand in revolve triangle. Notice I'm not holding a teacup on my back. I'm letting my whole pelvis move and the arm is up. My head is, I'm not looking up. I'm just tilting my head a little bit diagonally upwards as I push off the ground, feeling the arms like wingspan. Staying here for three, for two, and one. Slowly bend the front leg if you need to. Take the hands back onto your hips. As you bend the front knee, then raise the back heel. You can take this chance to move the block towards the left side and step forward. Slowly squeeze your legs to straight. 
Feeling good? It's challenging. Then from there, feet point forward. Be just confident, right left leg back. Okay, move the right foot to the right side. You are able to find better balance with practice. Step in front and back gets easier. Okay, that's why we practice. Right toes can angle out a little bit, so the legs slot in well into the pelvis. Stand tall. It's almost like you can hang out here. Okay. Finding ease, stability, all at the same time. Hands coming at the hip. Mm -hmm. Then from there, hug in the thigh. And feel a stretch in the belly before you fold at the hip area. Then that's where your leg strength help you to balance. Standing poses are important in that it helps you to maintain a sense of balance and bone density. Stretch out the chest, stay in this midway mark for a while. Then use your left hand, find the block. If you find that your stance is too wide, you can always move the right foot more to the left side. And stretch out the chest. If you feel your right butt sliding out to the right side, tack it towards the left hip. Then use this time to really stretch out flat back long spine. I firm the back thigh and breathe. Stay here or let the hip swivel towards the left side. Right hand on hip, turn the chest. Front leg straight, outer hip stretch, turn. Add on the arms if you like to. Right arm out and forward, open the chest. Revolve triangle with the left hand on the left side. I'm now taking my left hand towards the right side because that may sacrifice my sense of balance. I like to create more open chest. With practice, if you have no SI joint issues, that is doable, okay. But for now, cherish that nice open heart feeling for three, for two, and one. Slight bend your front knee, take your hands onto your hips, slide the hand down, move the block out of the way. You can press palms, you can step back into a down dog, not long, drop the knees down, toes back, and then from there, Either in cat pose for one more breath, then we slide the weight back, drop the elbows in front of the knees, come into a supported child's pose. One moment to stretch out the chest, lengthening frontwards, and take the arms by the side of your thighs, forehead towards the ground. Let your back stretch out after that child's uh, after that revolved triangle pose a little while more reach your arms out to the front come back onto hands and knees drop the elbows downwards you can interlace your fingers, elbows, shoulder width, fingers interlace, a triangle shape out. Then from there, stretch the left leg and the right leg out, come into a forearm plank, firm the thighs, drive the heels back and relax the jaws. You can drop the knees down to get more support, firm the thighs, hug the midline. For another three, two, one. Drop the knees down, stretch out the belly, out in Sphinx pose, where elbows are below the shoulders, arms parallel, and stretch out the chest. Feel free to open your feet wider if you feel any jam up feeling in your low back. Okay, let the abs stretch out along the length of the mat. Staying here is good. Okay, for you to find back a little bit more balance from right to left side. Alternatively, you can look in over your right shoulder, right heel, turn back front, gazing onto your left shoulder, left heel, just giving a mild stretch through the hip as you do a gentle back bend. Come back to center, open the elbows, let the belly, the chest, lay down onto the ground more. Feel a little bit more ease into the breath as your belly rests on the ground. 
the back, the side ribs get a little bit more chance to explore the breathing. Also use this chance to rest out the butt, letting the heel dropping onto right and left side respectively. Take two more breaths as you rest on your chin or your forehead on the back of your fingers or palms. Soften the face. When your neck is really soft, your jaws are really soft, you allow that sense of calm and quiet to come into your practice. Hands beside the ribs, press back to force, pull the knee forward or slide the hands back, come into hero pose. Here's my mat as a rule towel so I can slide easily on it. <laughs> then from there, you are sitting in hero pose. Let's drop the buttocks towards the right side. So the, the knees become like a pair of bunny ears. So I'm sitting, I'm sitting a little bit on my right heel and my left foot is out forward. Feel free to separate the knees a little bit more. The left butt is definitely off the ground. If you feel a little bit like you're tilting out, okay, you can sit on a towel or just intend that the left butt pressing downwards a little bit. Go for a long spine inhale. Then from there, we are twisting to the right side. Take your right hand behind, left hand outer right knee. And don't think about going far back. Think about just lengthening as you press down the fingers and lift the crown of head towards the sky. Then you stay here with the support against the outer knee and the fingers pressed into the ground. Use the inhale to get taller in your spine. Exhale, remember what I mentioned? It's the chest revolving. Inhale, let the left butt stay heavy. Exhale, revolve the chest. One more set. Inhale. And exhale, stay. The breath shouldn't be hindered. You feel a little bit of the belly ring and then chest open. And slowly exhale, return to center. Slide your knees into the chest. Just stand on your feet, you can hold at the back of your thighs. Just find a more symmetrical position. Then from there, we can shift the knees to one side like a pair of bunny ears. I may be sitting a little bit on my left heel, my right heel is free. Okay, then sit tall. Open the knees more wide if you need to. The right butt is a floating a little bit off, like one, one or two cm. Put something below it if it makes you feel better. Otherwise, you want to shift the belly forward. Feel the head, chest, belly and pelvis in one file. Inhale, left hand, let it Guide the shoulder back and right hand against the outer knee. Then once in position, give yourself a few moments just to ease the shoulders. Inhale, feel a lift through the spine. Exhale, revolve the chest. Don't force it if you feel any hip pain, any back pain. It's a good indication your body is talking to you. Maybe listen to it. Inhale, exhale, revolve the chest. Maybe the hand can slide further back. Inhale again. And exhale. Slide further back as in not too far away, but you get a little bit more support. And then breathe, ringing it, the, the, the turning of the chest. You might feel a light abdominal massage. Breathe in. One more breath, feel length. And exhale, slowly back to center. Bring your knees together. Open the knees outwards. Use your hands to support the ground next to your feet. Your feet together. You can press the soles of the feet in. Let the knees stay hovering. If it's really like there's a tuck of wall, you can put slot two blocks below the thighs. Stay here. Then from there, bring the feet more forward. Give yourself a big diamond. Float the knees. Let the hands slide below the ankle. 
and wrap your hands around the toes and then you just round your back like a tortoise shape just to recoil a little bit spreading out the back push the forearms drop the elbows downwards hunch like a tortoise few breath here stretch the chest out forward then from there lift the knees slightly so your hands can have an easy exit out bring the knees together and take your feet forward to the ground in front of you hands go back support the ground and just roll up your thighs tap tap your thighs on the ground and rotate out your ankles opposite direction and point flex okay wriggle your toes then from there help yourself down into a lying down position where you get both arms stretch out squeeze everything to the midline and squeeze the thighs squeeze the arms exhale let it go bend the knees okay let the feet open let the knees lock in and then you can bring your elbows to cactus arms as you gently windshield wiper your legs from side to side. You coax the front hip, the low back to receive, okay, to relax rather on the ground more. Chest is still open. Continue to windshield wiper your legs from right to left. Then slowly come back to center. Knock your knees in. Hands by the side of your thighs. Bring your right knee in and left knee in. Find like a apasana position, like a child's pose with the thighs going towards the belly. Take your hands at the back of your knees, squeeze your legs upwards. Maybe you can go a little bit more towards the face as you squeeze the thighs and hold at the back of the legs. You slightly bend the elbows so you pull the legs towards you to stretch out the back far away from the back of the head. Maybe the buttocks will hover a little bit. Let's just stay at a mild angle. Letting the buttocks and the lower back float up a little bit as your thighs come towards the belly. Breathe for three, for two, and one. Let the back find the ground, bend the knees. Step your feet to the ground. Feet, knees, hip width, hands by the side. Press down the upper arms, press down the back of the hip long. Then from there, you can stay here and rest or feel free to join me in bridge pose. Tuck the tail slide under to help you to lift the buttocks upwards. Once it's up, you just stretch the hip, the belly button to the direction of the knees as you press down the forearms into a bridge pose. Just stretching out both sides, right and left side more evenly. Hug the inner thighs in, breathe. Three, two, one. Exhale slowly down. Moment to relax and breathe. Come back to a symmetrical position. Feeling out both sides of the ribs, the lungs. Relax the jaws. Let's gently turn the face to the right. Pass through center and all the way to the left. Back to center. Palms face up to the sky. One leg at a time, stretching forward. You deserve a nice, good rest on the ground. Shavasana. Soften the wrists, the fingers, the elbows. 
Hopefully the chest feels a little bit more broad from one side to the other. You can open your arms wider if it feels freer for you. Breathe. Take another one more minute here. Gently wriggle your fingers and toes. Take your arms overhead if you like, stretch the body long. Exhale, let it go. Turn to one side comfortable. Take about three to four breaths on this side. The top hand press the ground. Slowly from there, come up to sit. Face forward, eyes stay closed. Few moments, just experience the whole spine tall. Finding that nice alignment through the center. Feel like there's a lift upwards. Take an inhale. And gentle exhale. One more round, inhale. And exhale. Hands to your heart. Give thanks for your practice today. Open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you very much.